So this is my arcade cabinet. I bought a Virtua Fighter 2 arcade cabinet um, about like 50 miles away from here. And I stripped it out, put an HD CRT in it, added three extra buttons on each side, and put a computer in it. And it, it runs through HDMI, so fantastic. So what are we going to do instead of running MAME or, you know, NES games? I, I don't know. We're going to play Flash games. The most uh, optimal thing to do on an arcade cabinet. Flash is dying, so I might as well do it. And it's, it's novel and it looks cool. Alright. The story. Some salad fingers. Uh, no, what the hell do? Hominy. So I have a config to work with new guys on the at the moment. Uh, I have to change inputs for whatever game I'm playing. Also I apologize for just the massive echo that you're going to be hearing. Uh, you're probably not going to hear a massive echo, so that doesn't make any sense. We get the full arcade experience. This looks really good on the CRT, by the way. Um, I'll probably go into it more with some B-roll, but um, I have a, an HD Toshiba CRT in this thing. And it was made in 2005. Oh my god, interesting. It was destroyed. It's, you know, Smash clone, somewhat. do this with my foot. I don't need to, but... Oh, boy. There's a certain novelty to this, especially... I don't know, it looks, it looks really good on a, on a CRT. Like, it's, it's in, you know, fucking... 720p on this monitor, which means like the interlacing isn't really well. You're still gonna get that interlaced look. You can you can probably tell. And I'll boot it up. You'll see it in the, the B-roll that it is. Uh, that that footage is shot at 1080i. This is shot at 720p, so I can get the side capture for the Elgato that I'm running, so you can see like the gameplay in the corner. That's if I do that, depending on if, that, if I have enough space for that. Yeah. I don't know how many games I'm actually going to play. Probably going to play Madness. Definitely gonna play the OG Alien Hominid on this thing since that is like the quintessential quintessential game for this. Anyway, I have to like change the inputs for some games on my on the like little keyboard encoder, which is obnoxious. So goddamn corny. Holy shit. It's my health at home. In my ass.
still not even anywhere close to death, which is insane. I have to just chip at him. Man, even now, like, even in the full screen, like, 1080p, it looks pretty good. Ooh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Oh, I'm done. So, this is the first alien hominid from, like, 2002. Um, shit, right. I covered this last year on Flash Thunder. It's one of the best Flash games of all time on the Newgrounds platform. And here we are going to play it on a CRT uh, in an arcade, so, which is fucking neat, but for some reason it lags really poor, like really badly in full screen mode, so it doesn't look great, but I mean, it, it won't, oh my god, are you kidding me? There we go. It's still like slightly lopsided. Okay. Oh! It's still like weirdly laggy. I mean, I don't know why I have a graphics card in this thing. It should be able to handle, I don't know, it's just because of flash on edge. I haven't installed like a proper thing on here since I don't use it for, you know, web browsing. I mean, why would you? Oh my god, seriously. But it works, you know, great for emulating old arcade games, so, oh, there I go. Crashing at the worst time. And this is just the boss. It says exit full screen that entire time. I apologize, but. That is Alien Hominid, uh, the original 2002-2001 game. Um, it looks great on here, but the biggest problem is that uh, I can't get it into full screen and it lags terribly, so that sucks a lot of dick. Oh, I don't have to change anything for this. Fucking nice. This is Dad and Me. Um, fun little beat em up by Dan Paladin. It runs like fast on this? I, I think this is how fast it ran originally. It's ridiculous. Diagonals are pretty hard on this because I only have a four-way thing from when this just came from Virtua Fighter. It's not like an eight-way, which kind of sucks, but... There's one buff child, Jesus. Not even like my character, just that child. I 
can still do combo videos in this game. It's crazy enough. It's insane. People still do that. This is too entertaining on here. Just awful stereotypes. We have to new grounds to do that shit. Cool. Oh, that's it for that. Oh god. All right. So that looked great and played great on here. A little fast, but um. Either way, ah, it works great. I need to see what other games I can throw up on here. Any other Dan Paladin games? All right, I uh, guess we're playing this one, this classic piece of shit. Oh man. Hopefully this isn't too laggy. I don't think it will be, but this is, oh no, it's fine. Shit. Ah. Oh my god. I'm probably not gonna even be able to do this. No. Yeah, that's... That ain't happening. We're gonna be playing Run 2. The second of Running. I've actually... I don't think I've ever played this game. I know it's like a classic that people love. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Neat. I have it on like the max set mode of shit. First of infinite runners. Looks pretty good on here, though. Kind of easy. Okay. There are walls you can't touch. Another weird physics thing. Okay, so that... Design pretty well. I'm actually, kind of digging it. I don't know how much I play of it since it's super simple and all it needs is the space, but. But. It's pretty fun. Maybe I'll do a live stream of this eventually. I don't know how well that would go because I'm going to need to connect my. Connect my, um, what's it called? Check my Ethernet through the thing, which is over there, which would be a pain in the ass. And I'd also have to have my computer to run this stuff, so. I'd also have to, like, run it through that computer, too, just to get this capture with my, with my, um, what's it called? My, my camera behind me. Because I'm running this through my Elgato on, on my Mac right now. I'm not bringing my whole PC. If you guys are interested in me doing a live stream of just all of this, let me know, because I would set it up just to do that. We're going to play a personal favorite of mine. It's called Cannibal. It's quite old. Uh, oh, yeah, I just need the thing for this. I don't really need... Oh, no. Shoot. There we go. Yeah. This is Cannibal, it is an infinite runner with some interesting world building, visual world. Ooh, shit. It's very, very dystopian. Oh, there's like a 3D version of this that came out or something. Oh, it's neat though. I dig it. Oh, 
Let's slow you down. And all I have to do is hit one button, which is nice. Probably the best I've ever done in this game, to be honest. Nah, uh, probably not. I played this a lot. I don't know whatever my what my record would be. Oh, well. I don't know if this one will work because I think this requires a mouse. Yeah, no, it's all mouse. And then WASD to control while in the air. I wonder if that. I'll I'll mess with it to see. I mean, I have a mouse right here, so that could work. It's not gonna look too good, but I had a trackball. Let's see. It really doesn't, no, it needs to be done with WASD to control. So, that doesn't really work that well. It's neat to, neat to look at, but, you know, can't really do much with the joysticks. I don't have, like, a proper, if I had a trackable, that'd be different. But, I don't. So, screw it. Oh, it's Shadow. Or, 4, 6. What am I talking about? I'm gonna turn up the, the volume on this. You guys can hear it in the... No, I'm dead already. Great. It runs a little slow. I don't know if that's just because of the frame rate, but... trying to play by the Mario rules. Which is not a great way to do it. Oh, I'll thank God for that. Time sheet. Probotector. Right. Tiny little character, geez. It's just a little bit of lag. I don't know if it's just the PC not handling flash or... Oh, I can't slide? Can I slide? Yeah, I can slide. Alright, cool. So that was a bunch of flash games on an arcade cabinet. Really, it felt uh, like a more intimate experience, especially playing like Dad and Me and Newgrounds Rumble. And it certainly felt like a better gaming experience rather than 
you know, playing on your computer at home or at school like you would normally do in this instance. It's, you know, quick little games you can play in your browser, but instead I made it over complicated and put it on an arcade cabinet. But really, I don't know, it feels way better to play, especially Newgrounds Rumble and Dead Me, like I said, they're beat-em-ups. They're already made like arcade games. They're made in the likeness of arcade games, so it's only natural that they fit on something like this. And really, I think that's the best way of celebrating these games. It'll be harder to play later uh, when technology just kind of advances far enough where Flash is completely obsolete. Not that it already isn't, but, um, you know, when it's completely phased and you have to find obscure pieces of software to run these um, files. But, um, yeah, I'm really bad at outros. I'm gonna leave the frame, that means the video is done. I'm gonna walk back in the frame. Fart!